Doctor, you work too hard. You do, we do. I mean, dentistry is, it's kind of like a glorified hard labor. Uh, we, we stay focused in our practices, but yet we try to stay up with inflation. You can't do that now. You know, after 26 years of practicing dentistry, I feel like I'm handcuffed to the, to the chair. If you ever expect to not practice someday, which someday you won't practice, you'll get old and you won't be able to do whatever you're doing, bending over teeth or cracking bags or whatever you think you're doing anymore, you're going to have to find another way to have your golden parachute other than your practice. I, I'm Dr. Richard Irwin. Uh, I live in Dallas. I, I'm a disabled dentist. And so for income, I live off my investments. My knowledge base real estate is not very good. And, but I've known David through the years and that he's very passionate in doing real estate. You know, I knew that David had done real estate. I had no idea of, of, of what he was doing. What I had um, been exposed to was not anything like what I was exposed to today. So it's been a really eye-opening experience for me. This type of uh, investing, everyone is positive. It's a win-win. And I don't know how anyone could resist this, actually. I got so frustrated with investing in other people's deals or investing in the stock market, investing in things that I really could never have any input and control over. I don't want to hand over my, my uh, hard-earned funds, uh, I guess you could call it that, to uh, an institution for, for their, their manipulation and uses. I want to determine my fate, and you can do that. I think that you have to be responsible for your own economic future. And as a dentist, you make a lot of money and sometimes you get sidetracked, at least if you're good, you do. And you tend to think that that's gonna go on forever. Because there's a good chance dentists and chiropractors become disabled at the highest in the professional arts, okay? Um, and so with that being said, knowing that the average lifespan of good ones is 20 to 25 years, okay? Me and the chiropractor are in here are proof of that. Then you had better find another way to make your seven figures for you and your family to have a good life. Particularly it's meaningful to me now to try to show my daughter some techniques where she can generate some passive income streams that'll be a source of economic security for her. There's a lot of different ways to make money and to, this was an eye opener for me. So, Dr. Phelps, I've heard him, this would be my third occasion and I, I'm going to hear him much more because he is the most knowledgeable individual as both a practitioner and someone that's been in the front line and they're out there doing this on a daily basis. So it's not something he's heard about. He practices it every single day. David relates very well with other dentists also because we all share a common, uh, I'll use the word an ancestry or so. Uh, David has a great wealth of knowledge. He's been in the industry for many, many years. I think going back to 70s, 80s. He's been uh, trained by the best educators who were really true doers themselves too, highly respected. I just never cease to be amazed, frankly, at how much he's accomplished and how much he's accomplishing. He's got great integrity. He's very prepared. He really knows his material and shares that in a very clear, understandable way too. David can, can hone in on, after a conversation and understanding between the two individuals, David would be, would be able to customize a good approach for that individual. I've known David for 25 years. I see all his tax returns. I've seen, seen him deal with people in good times and bad times. So I absolutely know how honest and trustworthy he is. Uh, I send money to David Phelps, and he sends me the paperwork later. That's how much I think of him, and I'm not a real trusting guy by nature. Hey, well, I coach doctors, all different types of doctors, literally all over the world, and I believe that Dr. David Phelps is by far the best real estate coach, and in fact, not only do I use him, all right, with everything I and my wife do, obviously I believe and trust him if he's taking care of me first, and I have vetted him and proved that out. So I want all of my own personal coaching clients to also use them. In fact, I even brought some here to this event. The knowledge is all there and it's, you know, what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna go back and act on it? That's, that's the bottom line. Get on a team, surround yourself with the right people. For, don't try to save the money, save the time. 
uh, whether you do it passively or actively, it doesn't matter, but you better get involved in it. And the younger you get involved in it, the better, so that you can be free, because you have no idea when you'll be disabled, you'll have no idea when you can't practice anymore. What this opportunity allows is for someone that is a professional to go in and invest their money in something that's safe, that will give them a better return, and is very manageable, and there's nothing but a positive upside to that.